Hello and welcome back to the channel and um, first of all before we get into today's video I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone, every single one of you that not only watches the videos but also those that have subscribed. Um, I have seen, you know, looking through the statistics that only 18% of you that watch my videos are subscribed. So that's a massive amount of people that are watching that don't subscribe to this channel. Um, it really would help me um, in supporting the channel just by hitting that subscribe button and then you know and if you do like the videos you could also hit that little bell so you get notified every time I upload that would be amazing right so what we've been doing um, we've been working on my VW T4 so it's the 2.5 TDI with the ACV engine so I previously picked up a second-hand block which I was led to believe was a snap cam belt um, turns out with you know looking through it into uh, doing a bit of investigation as I'm stripping down the engine seems like it was a heat seizure which was the failure not a snap belt so the cylinder head um, it's better than mine I've already gone through taking the camshaft off checked all of that um, so today before I get the crank out because I need this bit of work area here to put the crank I need to strip down the cylinder head um, we'll get the valves out We'll check it. I'm not going to go into detail with any of this because um, previous videos you can see that I've already done the work on a previous cylinder head so I will leave links to them in the description below so you can go check those out if you want to see how to take the valves out or the valve stems how I got them off the, um, the valve oil stems yeah so there's plenty of content there that I've, that I've already done so um, feel free to go check that out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this done, check the head, make sure it's okay, because so far it looks it looks alright, but I want to make some proper checks. So we, we'll do some checks on the head, and then I can get the crank out, we'll put the crank up here, we'll, we'll check the crank properly, and then we can check the, the actual block properly as well, get it all cleaned up. Um, I need another, I've already used a gallon of brake cleaner, so I'm going to need to order another gallon of brake cleaner. Uh, but yeah, we'll get all of that block cleaned out, we'll get the crank cleaned, we'll get the head sorted out and cleaned up. Um, yeah, then we'll get everything ready to go to a machine shop. Right, let's get into it. Right, so I'm just checking this cylinder head. We've got number, the first one. So that's the exhaust on cylinder one, intake on cylinder two and intake on cylinder four. Which actually isn't that bad. I reckon a good clean up on them faces and they'll, um, they'll seal fine. I mean obviously I've got to check all the valves, make sure they're not bent, but I don't think there's anything wrong with this head. Well, I'm going to carry on doing some more tests and checking it, clean all this water up and then we'll clean this face up and we'll have a check for any cracks but I have had a look and I couldn't see any cracks anywhere else on the head either. Um, the only thing I have noticed is on this cylinder so this is, oh no what was I saying? I said cylinder 1, this is cylinder 5 so cylinder 5 is the one with all the issues, all the carbon. It must have got so hot it's actually burnt all the carbon off. See these ones? All the carbon is still, you can still see it. But yeah, this one, nothing. Yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed. Not a snap cam belt, seized engine. Oh well, I guess I'll carry on then. Rebuild it, I guess. Right, so I've gone ahead and cleaned the head up, cleaned that face. The valves, they could do with a little polish. The head looks good. No cracks. I don't know if you remember that on my cylinder head that I had skimmed and I rebuilt, mine was cracked on pretty much every single one, and they were quite bad cracks. I've got no cracks on this head. And I um, got my straight edge out, got the old feeler gauge, dead straight, dead straight, straight up that way as well. Haven't done diagonal yet because we still got the valves in. 
but I will go ahead remove those valves um, carry on stripping it down cleaning it I think what I'll do is, is I'll send this off to the machine shop as well and we'll get that get it skimmed happy days right I was just checking the end flow and it's on 40 there and then if I push it back the opposite way we can check the end flow only to see if we need to replace the thrust washers which we clearly do because right there you see that that thrust washer is moving but it's mad because the tolerance oh it's moved up a little bit when I fully push it the opposite way Point one of a mil play so it's still within tolerance but no they need replacing well everything needs replacing right I guess we best take the crank out the joys <laughs> So now we've removed the crank, we can have a look at the top halves of the main bearing shells. And you can see as we go along, number two, three, four, five, six, um, they are all slightly worn. They do have, um, some of them are slightly worse than others, but yeah, they're all scratched. Uh, the bottom halves of the shells, again, see there they're all scratched up so they're going to need replacing as well the thrust washers um, they don't actually look too bad where is it it's just there somewhere so, oh, there's a little bit of wear on them but they could probably go again but still I'm just going to replace everything and then the crank itself so we've already checked the um, crank pin journals and discovered that they were scratched but also the main bearings uh, the main journals they've also got slight scratching as well but it is very slight on these that one's a little bit you can feel that one a little bit I mean so it may be okay to be polished down and not ground but yeah we'll just have to get it into the machine shop and let them see and uh, we'll go from there so I'm going to get everything cleaned up and then uh, off to the machine shop happy days but before I get into before I leave um, I just want to say that right I just want to stop it here quickly uh, for this next segment because 
I keep referring to James from Caddy Camper as Jason, so I do apologise. With this engine um, from Caddy Campers, yes, on eBay it did say that they all had snapped cam belts, and I thought that it was a snap cam belt. Obviously, um, a little there's, there's some sort of mix-ups happened here, but it's not a problem because you know I can get this sorted out, and it's content for you guys as well. But not only that. Um, when I went there and collected the engine, Jason wasn't there at the time. So I dealt with some other lad and he was really helpful um, and he knows his stuff, but you know, he didn't know what was going on when I arrived. He wasn't aware that I, I was coming to collect and Jason was and you know, Jason just wasn't around. So it's just one of those things, you know, it's unfortunate and I'm not going to go, I'm not going to drive another couple of hours to go sort out another block. So sort out another engine, it's too much hassle. So I'm going to have to make do with this and we'll just rebuild this. I was a little bit frustrated to start off with, but we can work around it and um, we'll still get it up and running. So uh, yeah, but I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. God bless.